Okay, so today I got a package to open. It's a skill toy that's been around for a while, but it's made a little bit different than its competitors. So I would say this is like a hybrid, a hybrid toy between like hacky sacks, miachi, contact juggling type thing. And there's two in this package, which is crazy to me because this is very thin. Oh, they're way smaller than I thought, man. That's why two can fit in here. Now, these are flat balls. And it's basically a skill toy that is pretty basic, but you can play with it like a hacky sack. The difference between the other ones that are on the market and this is that there is sand inside. And he uses a very like suede-like material. It feels nice. It's, it's pretty grippy too. Now when I see pictures of these and stuff, I thought that they were going to be like this big. You know, like I thought it would be that much bigger. But these are pretty tiny. Yeah, so this has like a build to it to where it's not going to roll around. It's just going to flop and stay pretty much wherever it hits. So it's got like a good grip to it. Yeah, so these are, this is a very simple concept. And I think these are good for kids and beginners. People who kind of struggle with hand-eye coordination type things. This would be a good place to start. I'm going to get up and play with these and see what I can come up with.
exhausted. I've been playing with these for a long time. One thing is it's like kendama. Very much so, up and down, bending the knees, jumping. It's uh, got a lot of that, because you wanna, you wanna like fall with it so you can catch it, so it's a lot like kendama. I'll have to say that it is harder than you think. I think one of the misconceptions about this is that you think, oh, it's just a, you know, a floppy disk. What can you do with it? The fact that it's round, the slightest turn at all when you're doing a flip will mess up the rotation and it looks wonky. So it's like hard to control in a sense. Now doing basics, you know, is one thing, but doing a lot of advanced stuff with two or just a lot of uh, advanced one-handed stuff can get very technical. So I've always said that the most simple toy ideas have the biggest play, and I think this is an example of that. So I underestimated the flop ball, and it turned out it's way, way cooler than I thought. Definitely an exercise. If you're trying the harder tricks, the juggling tricks and all that, pretty, pretty hard stuff, but it's good for beginners and good for advanced. And of course you can do hacky sack stuff with it, but yeah, this is the flat ball, and it's a pretty cool skill toy. Good for beginners, and also can be played with in a very advanced way. So yeah, go to flatball.com and check them out. They have a lot of different colors and color combos. Check out their site. They have a bunch of different colors and color combos, and it's a pretty cool toy. So go check out their stuff.